Hi everybody, my name is Lisa. I am here to talk about a company called Davin and Adley. The owner is Amanda. She's super sweet. I'm very impressed with her products and a little extra about her and her company. She actually launched last year in the middle of the COVID pandemic. So very impressed with her. She has four bralettes out. Today I'm going to talk about all of those, give you kind of a review of what bralettes can do what, and just let you know overall how I feel about them. Uh, she has already given me a discount code, so I'll go ahead and make sure to give that to you in a bit, but it will be for 15% off, and that'll help with the pricing on all these if you want to give them a shot. The first one that we're going to start off with is her Ella bralette. Um, it is a razor back, so you have a strap here, and then the back is lace. I'll be sure to show some photos of it later on since I am currently wearing it. But a unique feature about her Ella is unlike everybody else that has a clip, hers is magnetic. So you actually can undo and then attach via magnets. Um, so very nice design. It has a nice lace trim just to make everything feel really nice and pretty. And it is pretty true to size. I struggle with brawls because my band size does not come anywhere close to my cup size, so I really have a hard time making sure that the band size is small enough to fit my cup size. That being said, these are not adjustable. All of her products are just the straps, if that, um, which we'll go through all that and talk about that more, but the band size is the same. So I would say just that when it comes to sizing for all of these, Make sure that you stay true to size, especially if you're doing these for a wearable prompt. I would not go up in size, um, strictly because you cannot adjust the band to tighten it down. So, with the Ella, the way it is made, you are great for nursing. You can do your wearable pumps like Willow, Legendary Milk Cups, or you can even do regular flanges like the Medela Freestyle Flex flanges. All of those work really good with this bra. You just snap them over the flange and it'll hold them pretty tight. So the next one we're going to talk about is the Logan. It is a sports bra style. So it's very lacy in the front, gives you that great look, but then the back is very smooth and just a very nice comfortable material. They have really nice wide straps and as you can tell you can adjust the straps. They're actually super easy. It does not take a lot to get them to move around, but they do hold. So if your little one's yanking on you, they're not going to just slide down super easy like that. Um, so I'm actually very impressed with this one. I really love it. Um, it is best for nursing. So the way she designed it was you just lift up from the bottom and you nurse that way since they do not clip or unhitch from the top. Um, these are also great for Willow or LV, or any other wearable pumps that you have. The material is stretchy, so don't size up when going with these for your wearable pumps, especially everybody with Willow knows that Willow is very big and very heavy. You're going to want that band size to fit really well. So again, it does stretch. It's not something that I would be concerned about having to go up with. The next one that she has is the Autumn, which is actually one of my favorites. I really enjoy the design of it. Um, so it comes apart here between the lace and then the regular material. This is again great for nursing. You can use wearable pumps with it. You can also do your regular flanges with it because of the way that the material sits in. It all overlaps and when it's laying in up against your body and you put in one of those flanges, it holds together because of the overlapping. It has a razorback style, but it has that nice little eyelet opening just to give it a nice feminine touch to it and make it feel really nice. Um, again, I wouldn't size up because it just it has a good stretch of material for all the bands. All of them are really well made and none of them really require sizing up. Lastly, she has her Amelia, which actually just came back in stock. I'm very thankful that it did because I am super excited about it. I actually have two of these and I plan to get more because they are so stinking comfortable. But it is more of a crop top tank and so you have the very smooth finish in the front and that very nice decorative lace in the back. This one is good for everything as well and even though the straps aren't as wide I wish they were a little bit wider. I understand the design for that. 
it can hold willow still and the weight you just have to make sure that you adjust the straps accordingly to kind of help pick them up a little bit and give that extra tightness but as for everything else it is still great uh, you lift it up it has this mesh bottom inside and you have the opening for nursing of course you can do that for your wearable pumps like LV that are more lightweight and then you can of course still stick the flanges in there for your traditional pumps and then when pulling down when you pull down the rest of the top material it helps secure the flanges in there and keeps them from wiggling around or anything like that so you lift it up you put in your flanges but then you make sure to pull it back down just to secure everything and keep a nice firm hold but that is her Amelia again super comfortable all of these are true to size. I am a 34G or H depending on where I am in my lactation journey. And so um, the band size is probably the only thing. Some of these I did go ahead and start off in a medium for the band size like the Ella and the Autumn. The Autumn and, and the Ella both fit really well in the band size but cup size is kind of lacking for me. So Again, I do stick to true to size and the large for everything else that I own is a perfect fit. Just another little item that she did make is her breastfeeding pads. So she is the first one to come up with breastfeeding reusable or breast milk pads that are reusable and all in one. So they actually, I was pretty skeptical, they actually don't shift around which is what she promotes and says all about them and they're super thin but they hold a lot i have a lot of leakage i have a uh two month old and i am an oversupplier so there's a lot of leakage that comes with that territory and so far i have not leaked through one of these yet as far as price goes the ella and the autumn which is the other razorback both are sitting at 69 dollars the Logan, which is that sports bra style uh, bralette, is $59, and then the Amelia Tank is $49. So, then you have the breast milk pads. These are a little pricey if you just buy one at a time. It comes in better pricing for bulk. So, for one, you're spending $26. If you do two, then it's $39. But, she does have a big package which is seven that's a that is ninety nine dollars so when you break that down if you do the pack of seven that roughly makes it fourteen dollars and some change for each uh pad and then if you do the two for thirty nine that breaks it down to nineteen dollars and fifty cents so it's all much cheaper than buying just one i highly recommend buying more than one for that aspect but of course the choice is yours so again, to sum it up, out of all four bralettes that she have, none of them are adjustable in the band size. They are all just how they are made, but they are stretchy. So take that into consideration. All of these hold up really well so far. I've been using them for a little over two weeks now. And once they start kind of stretching out and kind of losing that firmness, just plop them in the wash and let them dry out and then they feel really great. Um, as far as washing goes, all of her products do come in their very own uh, laundry bag so I find that really handy you don't have to buy any extra but you put them in the laundry bag they all wash on cold with light colors and then you don't dry anything so you make sure to line dry them and then if you need an iron to touch up some creases or wrinkles that you may have that is permitted per the tag but again I haven't had to do that and I'm pretty lazy and don't do that anyway. <laughs> I told y'all she gave me a coupon. It is for 15% off. The code is LISA, L-I-S-A, 15. And that will do for the total purchase. It's not just one item, which is really great. And you can use it as many times as you want. She does not have a limit set on it. So again, code is LISA15 and that gets you 15% off your entire purchase. All of them can be used for nursing. Some of them are great for traditional flange sizes. All of them I found can be great for uh, wearable pumps. That includes Willow. 
and so the weight of willow really has not affected any of these or stretched them out too much compared to anything else. I'm still super impressed with that. If something was to change, of course, I'll update y'all and let y'all know. But for right now, two and a half weeks in, everything is doing great and I'm super pleased with my purchases.